Well, they're having trouble with these lights, evidently. Not trouble, they're just not getting to them. So, this is uh, today, Wednesday. This is 10 days after the race. So, yeah, they need to do better. the first time I noticed that the the link uh, swimming pool is right there it overlooks the uh, promenade oh the darn I'm telling you I've been by here 1,000 times and never saw that mostly I've been by here at night that's usually you can't see that they must not have it lit got the Christmas tree up it hadn't fallen over that's good. In Out Burger is doing very well.
$599 gets you two hours with that Lamborghini. And they rent them because they're always on the strip. And there are people dumb enough to think that other people think that that's their car. In fact, if you really owned a Lamborghini, nobody would believe it was yours. They would think you had a rental. So there's a, uh, a, a Accentra, I think, convention going on. That's what's got all these people down here. Because otherwise, Las Vegas is dead, dead, dead. The north end of the strip is dead. You can see that from my Sahara video. Now, why do they have this road blocked off? All for this convention, I guess. We got the cobalt blocked off down there too. And I can see from here the lights, the Formula One lights are still on, are still up, not on. More Formula One monorail. How long are they going to keep that up? So the grandstands are still up everywhere. Nobody's got their grandstands down. Possibly Venetian because they didn't have much of a much of a structure to disassemble and they already had it halfway down the next day. Now the race course itself is at at the uh, responsibility of the Formula 1. The rest of this stuff, I believe is uh, the responsibility of the property owner because they were making a fortune selling those tickets. Now they had to give Formula One a fortune also, but they also made a lot of money.
the only thing that almost every local has been positive about on this Formula One construction is this bridge. I really like this bridge. This was a big holdup in traffic, sitting through a red light heading to the strip. And coming this the other direction, going towards the east, there was a backup here every day, and now there's not. So now there's a couple businesses that are gonna really, really probably go out of business because of it. It's the gas station up here on the corner. Well, then, and then two more over there, the, the, the uh, souvenir shop and the AM PM. It's not that people can't get to it, it's people just can't see it. You see those grandstands are look like they've got 20% uh, of the work done at best. Uh, they haven't even started on this bridge, looks like. Because remember, they got to take this bridge down no matter if they're going to put another one in its place or not. The question is, are they going to put one in its place and it'll be a permanent bridge? But either way, they got to take this one down. So what are they waiting for? 10 days, it's been 10 days. If they're gonna build one, it's gonna take a year to build it, a real one. And see this, this is the one, this is the guy that's really pissed off right here. He's hidden back here now. You can still get to his business though, from every direction, not, well, be hard pressed to get to it from that other direction but you were hard pressed to get to it before the bridge was here if you were going that way you'd go to the AM PM he's got one of those stores that doesn't have any prices on his stuff anyway so I can't hardly feel sorry for him I don't think that's an honest way to do business Yeah, these lights these lights are completely uh, there the whole course has still got the lights I don't know why they didn't schedule an exhibition with another uh, racing series any series even bring the people the locals with the late models turn on the lights two nights after the Formula One went home and let them race on this course what would it hurt? It's got a Chicago feel to it down here. See that AM PM, you can't even get in. Oh yeah, you can. But it's still blocked for the foot traffic and mainly. It's very complicated to get in there. Get in there. You can get, get go and get go and get in there. Yeah, this is Caesar's responsibility right here. I don't see, uh, I don't even see any workers. I saw some from a distance on the top floor. God, that'd be a pain in the ass to put, to take apart, to like taking apart something you bought at Ikea. It took you three hours to put it together. You don't want to take it apart to move it. You just light it on fire. Are they going to reopen that 7-Eleven? 
it's been closed for a year. But there's activity in there. Maybe they can find something to sell out of there. I think they owe me a free big gulp. I don't think they have it in there. They're still running the battle bots here in Las Vegas. Oh, look at this. Uh, Ellis Island completely has completely disassembled their grandstands. Good for them. They're the only ones so far. Man, they got it all down. You can't even tell it was ever there. Unlike Caesar over here. So the uh, synopsis is 10 days, lighting still completely intact on the entire race course, grandstands mostly intact on the, on the whole race course. Ellis Island is the winner of being the responsible one, taking down their grandstands. Looks like everything is still up at the paddock. They're taking down that bridge, that pedestrian bridge. They really should have made that permanent also. Or they make this one down here, make that one permanent at the uh, corner of Koval and Flamingo. It's a dangerous place to cross the street. It's all kind of impaired drivers coming through there every night. And those are the ones that are more careful. That's the ones you got to worry about. It's those sober ones. So, of course, this doesn't really matter to locals. Because uh, that's their property. That's Formula One's property. That's not really hurting anything. Whether they take it down in a month or six months, we don't really care. <laughs> 